Hello everyone, Reza here. In this video, I will show you how to launch a Power App as a custom card on Hover or Click of a column in a SharePoint list by leveraging JSON-based column formatting. This Power App can receive contextual information about the selected list item so we can deep link into specific screens in the app. This feature runs on modern SharePoint pages allows us to leverage the print feature in Power Apps and a lot more. So let's check it out in action. Modern SharePoint lists and libraries, we have the ability to integrate them with Power Apps. To create a Power App in the ribbon, if I head over to Integrate and Power Apps, the two key options here are creating an app and customizing forms using Power Apps. If I create an app leveraging this list, it will create a simple three screen Power App that will allow the users to create, edit, and view data. The advantage of this Power App is it is available as a standalone app. So I can run this using the Power Apps mobile app. And these apps will be available in make.powerapps.com so I can simply select it and play the app. On the other side, we have the ability to customize purely the SharePoint form experience for the specific list by leveraging Power Apps. Here, I have a SharePoint list, the form for which is customized leveraging Power Apps. So if I click on new, it will launch the Power App in a panel on the right hand side directly inside the context of the SharePoint list itself. If I select an existing record and click view or edit, it will open up the form experience for me once again, contextually aware of the item that I selected. Advantage of this type of Power Apps is it directly runs inside the context of the SharePoint list itself, but these apps are not available on the Power Apps mobile app. Now, there are various scenarios in which you would want to launch your Power App directly from within the SharePoint context itself. One of the features for modern SharePoint is the ability to apply JSON formatting to customize your list experiences. You can apply these formatting options to columns, views, and form experiences. I've done videos on SharePoint formatting. The links are in the description for this video, so do check it out. One of the SharePoint column formatting options is the ability to have custom cards on hover or click of a specific column. And as part of this custom card props JSON syntax, one of the element types is a file preview. I have a modern SharePoint document library experience. To leverage that custom card property feature, I will add a column of single line of text and I will call this view card. I'll click save. I'll bring this column right in this position. For this column, if I head over to the formatting option and go to advanced mode and plug in the following JSON sample, it will create a div which would be called view by card and I'm leveraging the custom card props feature. If I click on it, it will open up a custom card that will showcase a file preview. I'll go ahead and save this. Here is my experience now in the document library with the column formatting applied. If I click on view by card, it will give me a preview of that specific file. In this case, it's a video file. So it's actually playing the video right in line in this custom card experience. If I was to open a PDF document, it will showcase a full experience of that PDF document. Along with that, I also get a lot of other properties like printing this PDF document or saving this document. And this feature works for any office files, PDFs, videos, GIFs, images, and more. This same experience also works for the pages library. Once again, I have my column that is formatted by using the custom card props. This time though, 
I will open up the card on an event known as hover. So as I hover over this, it will launch the card. If I hover over this, it will actually launch the full SharePoint page experience. So with this as a reference, I tried to see if it is possible to launch a power app leveraging that same card experience. And here is that feature in action. If I hover over my column, it will launch my power app. And I was also able to pass contextual information about the specific item to my power app. If I hover over the oil spill item, it launches my power app and takes me directly to that item. This is a fully functional power app. So I'm able to edit this, make modifications to this and submit. Go to any other screen and more. For the formatting related to launching a power app, all I need is a URL to play my power app. And I also passed a parameter to it, which is the ID of the current item. The reason I need to pass the ID is because when the power app opens, I wanted to show the specific record. And to do that, I had to perform deep linking. I recently did a video wherein I showcase how you can create connected web parts in modern SharePoint pages, wherein if I pick a specific list item, it will open a power app as a connected web part and show data related to that specific item. And here as well, I use the concept of deep linking. To get the source for my power app in make.powerapps.com, here is my standalone power app. I will head over to three ellipses and details. And here is the full web link to launch my power app. So I simply copied this link and pasted it right here in the source attribute. And then I passed a parameter to it, which is ID, wherein I'm passing the ID of the current item. In my power app, the first action, which is on start of my power app, I have read that parameter value, which is the parameter ID. And I've gone ahead and performed a lookup to my specific item. And I have stored that information in a variable. For the start screen property of my app, if that parameter is not blank, take the user directly to the detail screen, which will show the details of that list item. And for the form control on this screen, the item property is that variable that I am setting on start of my power app. So that's how it is deep linking directly to the specific screen. If I simply add the list view web part on a modern SharePoint page, that column formatting and the custom card behavior still works. So if I hover over this, it will launch my power app right here in context of the modern SharePoint page. The same experience will also work for modern document libraries. If I click on app as card, it will launch my power app. You have full control over the width and height of the card experience that opens up. Plus, if my screen size was to change and if I was to try and launch the app, it is smart enough to know that there is not enough real estate to fit it. So it will try and launch it in a different section. The same experience is true for a scenario where my power apps was designed, keeping the mobile experience in mind. We can also leverage the same custom card option for SharePoint list forms that are customized with power apps. Here, if I click on new, it opens up the power app form in the right hand side panel. I also have the custom card feature. Here's my power app related to that same customized SharePoint list form. Once again, all I needed is the URL to my power app and passed the ID parameter so I could leverage it to showcase that specific item that has been selected. One of the limitations of SharePoint customized list forms is the ability to use the print feature in Power Apps. If you try and leverage the print function, 
It is currently not supported for SharePoint customized list forms. But in this card based experience, because this card is launching the play version of my Power App, the print functionality comes alive. If I go ahead and print, it will launch the print dialog. Plus, with the printing feature, you also have the ability to save it as a PDF. All the JSON formatting that I showcased in this video, I will make it available on my GitHub repo. The link will be in the description of this video. So do check it out. If you enjoyed this video, then do like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you so much for watching.